I hear danger. Thanksgiving combined. Um, you know, you get to dress up, have fun. There's lots to do in New York City and... Children dress up in costumes and beg for candy. In girl world, Halloween is the one night a year when a girl can dress like a total slut and no other girls can say anything about it. Today, one of the first activities we're gonna do for Halloween is go to the annual Thompson, Tompkins Square Park Halloween Dog Parade. And I am dressed as Supergirl and I'm here with my baby, um, super dog. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun time and I can't wait for you guys to see um, some of the things that we're doing for Halloween. <laughs> Let's go. It's the job for super dog. All right, this is it. This is the fit. Do you think that Kara was like, yeah, this is it, this is the fit, when she uh, got her costume made? Did she? Super dogs taking a super shit. <laughs> oh my God, it's so hot here. I am so poop. I will say I don't know if I would consider doing it again unless I had registered to participate in the costume contest with Matcha and Kenny because it was packed. It was a little bit overwhelming for me. I feel like I haven't really been, I don't think I've ever actually been in such a large crowd like that in a really, really, really long time. So it was overwhelming, but we ended up staying in one spot and we just kind of like planted ourselves there. And it was just amazing seeing all of these costumes, like the owners had put so much effort into. I was mind blown and I was, I don't know, I'm just so happy that me, Kenny and Matcha, like we all did this together. We all dressed as, you know, Superman, Supergirl. And uh, yeah, it was fun. I'm just really glad I did it, but I am so exhausted. And it's also my fault because I only slept five hours when I could have gone to bed earlier. But um, yeah, today was great. And I can't wait for the Halloween festivities to continue. Hello, so it's Friday night and we're about to get this Halloween weekend started. You know, it's about to be so much fun. Um, I can't wait to show you guys who I'm dressing up as for tonight. You'll see. Hey, my butt looks good Hello. in those leggings. Who is she? Who is she? Entering the chat? is Katara from the Water Nation. I'm so glad I got this costume. I think it's so cute. I wish I could show you the full thing. It's kind of hard to. This is what happens when you live in New York City and you have a small apartment. I literally spent 15 minutes trying to do my hair. I was trying to put my hair through a little bead using tweezers. That didn't work because the tweezers are too big for the whole and then I tried using a bobby pin to slide through the bead 
that didn't work either and then after doing all of that i realized that either way i still cannot do her loopy loops her famous loopy loops because i have bangs so it wouldn't really i guess it could have stayed but um oh well this is good enough i'm really happy with it water earth fire air Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then, everything changed. Saturday y'all um, last night was so much fun we went to a bar nearby and some people recognized me a lot of people didn't even know who I was supposed to be dressed up as but the people who knew you guys are awesome like I had a random strangers come up to me and be like Katara and I was like yeah um, yeah it was so much fun you know we danced we acted like idiots you know um, so yeah, we are gonna head into the city today to get burgers, which really has nothing to do with Halloween, but it's Halloween weekend, so let's get burgers. Hello. Shut up! So, I'm a fairy, if it wasn't obvious. I wish I could... <clears throat> I can't wait till we get a bigger apartment, honestly. And I'm wearing cowboy boots, so you could say that I'm a, a Western fairy. Uh, yeehaw! With a, a little yeehaw with sparkles. I, I didn't get a burger, but why did I not know that Urban Outfitters on Herald Square had a really great poke bar or poke bowl restaurant? It's really good. And the guy gave me, like, he stuffed my plate with all of the toppings like he couldn't even close it. he had to use rubber bands anyways it's saturday night and i'm a fairy i really like this it's so cute right my wings aren't even but i mean that's okay yeah we are going to another house party and i love me some house parties so it's a good time we're gonna uber there because we are already very late it's already 11 o'clock so Let's go, let's party. Hello, again. Hey guys hello so it's Sunday and we are yet again going to another party this time it's actually at the house of yes and if you've never been to house of yes you absolutely have to go that's what people say here like you've never been to a rave house of yes is the perfect place to go and it's just so much different I am I don't know I've grown out of clubbing and you know going to Lavo and One Oak and up and down I'm just not really a fan of it anymore so I like House of Yes, it has more of like a, I don't know, you just have to go. You just, you have to go. And they have so many themed parties and it's a safe space. It's just, it's fun, it's beautiful inside. Um, so I just can't wait to see what this is like because I've never been during the day. Um, the event we're going to is called Sunday Scaries. And I'm going to be wearing basically the same thing that I wore last night because I really felt very cute. and. I make a cute fairy, so, um, yeah, so, I'm going to attempt to do the makeup that I did yesterday because 
doing the doing winged eyeliner or cat eye is really hard and I don't know if I can do it again I really don't know if I have it in me to do it again but I'm gonna try oh my god our place is a mess like so so messy I'm embarrassed and most of it is my stuff that I just threw everywhere trying to get ready every single day for this weekend <laughs> Oh, she's winged. She is ready to fly. Just this side. We gotta do this side, girls. <sighs> I swear to God, I have two different fucking eyes because every time I do eyeliner, I always end up to doing two different styles. This one is different than this one. Actually, never mind. We're working somewhere. We're going somewhere. We do, we do. It was a little. It was a little. What does it feel like you like this already took a lot of work? So like you don't want to like not be a, a berry, but goddamn, cabbage man. You gotta grab that. You gotta grab that. Okay. Check it out. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. I'm doing a video. Oh, <laughs> all right. Okay, <laughs> we're late. 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 We have Rolos and I already have a handful and I brought my backpack. <laughs> I have to, should I open my backpack or is that awkward? <laughs> that was a very short-lived trick-or-treat. I am exhausted from partying three nights in a row. I can't believe I had the audacity to even think that I could possibly go party for a fourth night. We might go back outside to try trick-or-treating again because you know some people just leave their bowls out with candy. I don't know if I have the capacity for that, but we got a couple, we got some, you know, chocolates here and there. Um, but it's really awkward to not have a costume on and to just, you know, try to get candy from people who are sitting outside on their stoop. And I feel like it's also just kind of rude because you know if you're not partaking, why would I get candy? Why would I get free candy? That's just not how it works. So, um, yeah, instead we're gonna make banana bread. That's a Halloween thing, right? Yeah, we're gonna make banana bread.